Okay, hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Pindi Lezwane Mwanyanaka Jone, the girl of today, the girl of this very moment, darling. And if you do not know it by now, I don't know where the heck you have been, but opportunities have definitely been passing you by. But do not worry because you know that when you see my pretty face, honey, I am yet back again with another opportunity, some sort of opportunity to making sure that you get yourself some sort of salary, okay? Or just one step closer, I could say, you name it, I'm here for it, okay? So today, I am bringing you, uh, I think this is what you guys have been waiting for for so long, um, uh, phlebotomy learnership, Empaths phlebotomy learnership is open, okay? It is open, I got to know about this a couple of days ago, but I was not able to record because I was just occupied with other stuff. But um, Empath has opened their phlebotomy learnership. And uh, if you don't know what phlebotomy is, please just go back to a couple of my previous videos where I explain what phlebotomy is. I know a lot of people that are on this um, who are my subscribers already, some of them know what phlebotomy is because they've been checking my videos out. Um, so um, if you're new here, please subscribe and uh, click the notification button uh, to make sure that when I drop a video, you are one of the first ones to know. Okay, so um, I did explain previously what phlebotomy is. So now Empath has opened, uh, opened the phlebotomy um, learnership program. But now what's different is okay this is going to make a lot of people happy is that they also have a self-funded phlebotomy for those of you that have been asking me where can we study phlebotomy if you want to pay for uh where can you study phlebotomy if you want to pay for yourself how can you access it empath has now opened a self-funded phlebotomy what course so there is a learnership and there's a course. So basically the learnership is for people that will obviously qualify or that have had um, the uh, required um, marks in life sciences and maths and whatnot. But I think the self-funded ones are for people that do not really qualify, but like are sort of like close to those ones, but among only 40%, you understand what I mean? Um, so I think this, this is going to get a lot of people excited and you can self-fund it. According to my source, who is very reliable, um, I get the course is two years. It's a two-year course. So if you want to fund it yourself, um, it's 52,000 rands, I think, for two years. So it's quite reasonable because, I mean, the, I think for nursing, people um, pay about 52,000 rands or 40-something thousand rands per year you know, um, if you do nursing in this private um, institutions. By private institutions, I also mean like your private hospitals because there are hospitals that actually offer nursing, um, nursing courses or nursing programs. But the only difference is that it's not learnerships. People actually do pay um, to become nurses. So this all goes back to what I've been saying um, about investing in your skill, investing in yourself. So if you want to acquire the skill of phlebotomy and potentially lend yourself a job in the phlebotomy industry, uh, you can invest in it and you know, go through it and do the course and qualify, write the board exam like those that are in learnerships. You understand? Um, so I think they are going to get literally the same kind of um, uh, the same kind of uh, education, the same kind of attention. And the only difference is that in class now there will be learners that are self-funded and those that are um, part of the learnership. But the training, the yeah, basically the whole syllabus is going to be the same and uh, they're going to treat you guys the same, I think, um, even after qualifying, like you're going to write through the, like the exam and you're going to make sure that you qualify. And obviously if you are self-funding or if you are investing in it as a skill that you want to learn, you will make sure that you study, you'll make sure that you pass and you'll make sure that you, um, you know, get yourself the job. I mean, a phlebotomy job is all over, like when I say all over, I mean all over. It's like, it's like nursing. I don't know if nursing is that, you know, all over like that, but phlebotomy work, I, I mean, definitely guarantee that after you qualify, you will lend yourself a job, like you will never be an unemployed phlebotomist. Do you understand what I mean? I mean, unless if you want to be one, but if you don't want to be one, definitely there's a lot of opportunities, you know, within the phlebotomy space. So, 
I think this is going to get a lot of people excited. So um, like in all my other videos, I will share how it is, um, how you're going to get it or find it on the Empath portal. So what I know about Empath is that you need to register with, um, you know, under their careers portal before you can actually apply for jobs that they post. Do you understand what I mean? So you need to, yeah, you need to register and make sure that you fill in your information accurately. I did um, mention this in my, uh, the series that I've created, the Becoming Employable in 2024 series, um, when I spoke about different kinds of applications. And I did say that there is an online registration whereby companies require you to actually register on their website, on their careers portal, where you need to fill in all the information. I know it is tiring. I know that is where a lot of people get discouraged because now you have to fill in all these other details and then at the bottom they will still say, please upload your CV. You understand what I mean? But if you are, I don't want to say desperate, but if you want an opportunity, you would not mind doing it. You understand? Unless if you are cool, uh, you are okay with where you are. I know there's a lot of people that are really going to be very excited, when it, especially when it comes to the self-funding, because I know that learnerships really do limit a lot of people uh, in terms of mask, um, in terms of marks, rather, and um, what else? Location and stuff like that. So self-funding, you know that, okay, this is what you want to do, this is what you're going to invest in, and definitely you will learn yourself a permanent um, people bought to me job after you are done qualifying and done writing your board exam right so i will leave everything um like at the end of the video and if you have any questions please feel free to ask uh, to ask me um the two ladies that you can i've been given here i'll also um post a screenshot of this thing that they've sent me so um yeah i will the yeah i will just post it because i can't even see what, what what's going on here okay so there's like one in centurion let me see one in Centurion. okay it's two in centurion actually so i will just post their details on you know on these videos for any further inquiries regarding this particular one you can contact these two ladies okay and like i say and i always say this i am not um I'm not like part of Empath. I'm not part of any of the companies that I post about. I'm just, you know, a helping hand. Please do make sure that your CVs are in good standing uh, according to how I have guided you guys in my previous CV video. Um, if you have overlooked it, I'm, I feel really sorry for you. And for those of you that have been asking me to review their CVs, even though you did not um, review it yourself according to the guidance that I've given you, I am not going to review a CV in which way, now yourself, you did not make an effort in. There are people that are serious that literally email me and say, Hi, Pindile, I have um, changed or updated my CV according to the guide that you have given to us in your YouTube video. Please review it for me and just, just to make sure that I'm on the right track. And then when I open the CV, I can see that, damn, yes, this girl did put in the work. Do you understand what I mean? And there's like literally sometimes very little to none changes that I would want to make or advise them to make. These are people that are serious. These are people that want to change their lives. But when you come to me and ask me to review a CV, whereas you've never even went back to look at that CV um, guidance video that I've created a couple of weeks ago, I don't know what you want me to say because literally the very same things that I have said in that video are the very same things that I'm going to say to you. Do you understand? So please make sure that when you want me to review your CV, you have reviewed it yourself according to the guide that I've already put in place here on YouTube for free. You understand? Please, guys. Otherwise, I'm going to start charging for reviewing CVs because it's a lot. Do you understand what I mean? Uh, but yeah, I still do continue re uh, reviewing your CVs if they're worth reviewing like i do open them i do open your emails and when i see that okay this person did not make an effort then i do not also bother by responding to the email or to the dm but when i see that okay when i open it and i get one okay you have made an effort you have made then i do respond and i do tell you where to make changes do you understand free of charge do you understand what i mean so yeah Unless if you want me to revamp it or recreate it from, uh, create it from you for, uh, for you from scratch, then that's a whole different story. Then yeah, and then what else? Also, go 
through the um what is it literally the previous three videos that i've created regarding becoming employable in 2024 that series that i've started which i'm still gonna finish i don't know when but so far those three videos can literally help you let's say if you apply for the learnership and you yeah you get in through the learnership instead of self-funding because i understand that the people we are from different backgrounds different you, do you understand what i mean so if you lend yourself this learnership and yeah it's not self-funded you do need to go through those you know those interview questions and you need to make sure that you understand um whatever that i have said how to answer them and all of that but yeah i'm not gonna waste your time i'm not gonna make this video too long um i'm just going to um what is it do a screen video after this on how to apply i have already registered a long time ago on the empath thingy portal i remember so for you it's going to be a little bit different because my profile is already up there you understand back then I was when i was still applying so yeah you just need to register and then make sure that your documents are nice and certified and then get going um without yeah literally that's that you understand guys so i'm um, good luck to everybody that will be applying good luck to those that will be um also applying in the self-funded you know because not i don't think just because they said self-funded it does not necessarily mean that everybody is going to be taken do you understand what i mean you still need to qualify i think or even if you don't qualify at least you still need to be close to to it do you understand what i mean so um yeah good luck to everybody and if you need any questions i will leave the ladies numbers um screenshots of those ladies numbers or details of those ladies numbers in which you can contact numbers and email addresses and then you can ask them um regarding like you can ask them anything regarding these uh the phlebotomy course and people from kzn it's your time to shine baby you guys can now apply okay all right guys from me to you it is always love Mwah. okay guys so you basically open your web browsers and you can type here empath careers or whatever and then it will take you obviously it will show you empath careers portal and then you click on it um yeah you click on the company's actual websites you know that's one thing that i've told you guys i'm so sorry that my network is so slow i'm having network problems here but please just to bear with me um it's still loading Uh, okay, it finally opened. So when it opens, um, yeah, it opens the. We can tell that my network. We can tell that my opens. It was really bad, so it opens, and then you click here where it says available jobs, right? And then it's going to take you to this next page, and then you are going to scroll all the way down to the very last um thing. De obviously, depending on when you open this, well, when night today is on page number four, so I'm going straight there. Bubble. so you're going to click on that and then as you scroll down like down 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 i think this was posted 14 days ago but hey, yeah sorry guys we are late so you click on it and then it's obviously going to show you the you know all the you know the descriptions the yeah the vacancy descriptions and then it shows you the closing date is on the 15th of april and whatever that is required of you and then you click apply like i said it requires you to register so it's either you auto fill your resume or you apply manually i always just would advise you to apply manually um it just like i don't know it's less confusion do you understand what i mean so when you click on that apply manually these are obviously the stages how many six seven stages that you need to Go through in order for you to reach the end review and then you click submit make sure that your documents are you know your minimum the minimal documents are obviously ready like your latest updated cv is ready um certified um id copy your qualifications you know literally everything that you feel like might help you to apply for this make sure that it's there because they will require it um you know somewhere where you have to yeah, we have to submit. If not, that's also fine. But basically, you go through all of these things. So you fill, you fill, you fill, you save and continue, and so forth and so forth and so forth. Um, and for the other one, the other 
the bottomy one, the self-funded one. Let's go to it. I think it also requires the same kind of procedure. So you see it's self-funded private learner. And I just want to say something else. Just because it says self-funded, it does not necessarily mean that um they won't make any um they won't be selective. They will still be selective. You, these companies I and mean, they will be very selective. So um yeah. So you basically read through it and you do the same process, apply apply manually, or you can choose to open your resume. Use your last application if you know that your latest application yeah, and that there is updated. You can also do that. You literally go through the same thing. That's what I'm saying. You will also go through the same things um, as if you are applying for a leadership. So it's not going to be for everyone just because it's self-funded. It's not going to that does not mean that it is accessible and available to any and everyone. You still need to go through uh process, you still need to go for interviews, you still you understand what I mean. So they want to make sure that they are giving it deserving your list, even though yes, it's your money, even though yes, you are self funded. You just want to make sure that you are deserving. Do you understand what I mean? That yeah, by choosing the right candidates. I uh, so yeah, that, yeah, I think that's it. Good luck to everybody.